Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we'll be talking about creating Azure AD groups with uh, assigned and dynamic membership. So if you talk about uh, dynamic memberships, so in Azure Active Directory, you can create attributes based rules to enable dynamic membership for a particular group. So dynamic group membership adds or removes the group members automatically using the membership rules based on members attribute. So for instance, if the query satisfies, those particular users will be in this group, else they are not. So saying that, let's see what we have done in the previous video. So let me show you the architecture. So we have created a user one and gave a certain role, which is user administrator and certain job titles, title as well as department. So using this user one, we have created user two. Since the user one is a user administrator, he has the privilege to create user two. So that is what we have done in the previous lab. So in this lab, we'll be creating uh, the groups, as I said before, which will be IP administrators, uh, cloud uh, administrators, IT system administrators, as well as uh, IT lab administrators. Saying that, let's jump into the video. So if I go back here, so initially we have to go to the active directory and under the manage, you can see there is a licenses. So if I go, you can check the licenses and here make sure you go to the all products, click that. So already activated Azure Active Directory Premium P2. So you have to do that for this lab. So you can use try and buy. So we have two different options, which is enterprise mobility plus securities as well as uh, Azure AD Premium P2. So we have two different options. So in this case, we'll be going with Azure AD Premium P2. So you can read more about it. So we'll be, we should activate this for this free trial. So you can read with this particular Azure Active Directory Premium P2, you can gain access to advanced security features, rich reports and rule-based assigned to the applications. So your end user will benefit from self-service capabilities and customized branding. So you can read more about it. However, you just need to click activate here. So once it's done, it may take like a few minutes. And once it is done, we have to create certain groups. So if you go here, if I go to the management pane, and uh, here if i click the groups so already created it but let me show you how this is done so initially the group that we're going to create is id cloud administrators group which is the first one so let's click this oh shit once again So if you click the new group, you can have an option called security as well as Microsoft 365. So if we talk about the difference, so Microsoft 365 groups can have only users as its members. Whereas if you talk about security group, you can have users, devices, groups, as well as service principles as its members. Saying that we are selecting the security here and coming to the group name it's IT cloud administrators. So you have to place that in here. And coming to the description, I'm pasting that too. So this will be no. So Azure AD rules can assign, can be assigned to this particular group. If you say, you'll be having another option called roles and you can add the roles here. But in this case, we are not going with this one. So it will be no here. And coming to the members, owners. Yeah, we have to change this. So it's assigned right now, which is a manual one. So we have to select a dynamic user or a dynamic device. So in this case, I'll be using the dynamic user. So click that. 
So when you click the dynamic user, you can see there is an option called dynamic user members and add a dynamic query. So here we have to add in query. So if that query satisfies, those particular users will be into this cloud uh, administrators group. So click dynamic query. And you can see like, uh, it's like if in all conditions, so you have, if this satisfies, the users will be in this group. So coming to the conditions, so coming to the property, it's job title. So if I click job title and the operator would be equals. And if this job title is equals to cloud administrator, make sure all the users should be in this group. So this is what it is saying. You can check other options too. You can work, uh, you can play with that. However, I'm just uh, using this and once it is done, you have to save this. So this is the syntax for that and you just need to save this. So once it is done, the group will be created. So I'm not creating this just to overcome those redundancy. So the group name is IT system administrators, which is uh, sorry IT cloud administrators which is this one we have created it so this is what it has been created once it is done you can see the members that we have created in the previous video will be already assigned to here because this particular people have the job title of uh, cloud administrator so as soon as you create the group these people are dumped into that so if I go back so now we have to create uh, another group, which is IT system administrators. So if you go back here, you can see the, for these uh, IT cloud administrators, this particular user will be there. So I guess for me, there are two different users. I forgot to delete the other user in the previous video. Yeah, there are two users. So I just created it. There is no use of that. So yeah. If I go back, so it's done. So let's create second uh, group where it's for IT system administrators and this particular user will be in this group since he's system administrator. So that is what the condition will be giving uh, in the dynamic query. If I go back here, we have to create a new group. And uh, Coming to the new group, it's the security and oh shit, okay. Yeah, so security and the group name would be oh, IT system administrators. I'll put that here, add it. Already there, I know. So if I click here and coming to the membership it will be the dynamic user dynamic query so coming to the dynamic query in this case now it will be system administrator since the group we are creating is for the system administrators click that click job title so click equals and coming to the value it will be the system administrators and I think it's done so once it is done just save and assign it so how I'm not doing this since I've already created it let me go back here and if I see IT system administrators so if I click this if I go to the members you can see the member is already present here so that is what it is for the dynamic uh, assignments and now coming to the next we have to create uh, IT lab administrators which is we have created this group this group and now we have to create an IT lab administrators so go back here and uh, let's create that particular group but in this case this group is assign it's not a dynamic so you just need to create the group 
and uh, security and the name will be the IT lab administrators group so click that paste here and uh, coming to the description it will be the this one and it will be the assigned one and coming to the members we have to select id cloud administrator and system administrators so if you click the members so click id cloud administrator as well as id system administrator and select and create it so once it is done make sure uh, the syntax is working properly and uh, the users are in their correct groups let's go back it's groups members if i go back here for administrators we have the user one which is right and if i go back to the system administrator we have to have the user two which is right so i think everyone is in the right place so yeah that is for now in the next task we'll be creating uh, azure active Directory tenant and next we'll be managing azure active uh, guest users so saying that i hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, creating azure ad groups with uh, assigned and dynamic memberships so if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thank you